crochet creations and another vlog video so this one is hats hats and more hats for August I spotlight a yarn every single month and sometimes it's an old one sometimes it's not an old one and sometimes it's brand new and this one happens to be brand new to me I don't know how old it is um, but what I have not done in the past is I have not done a video about that particular hat of the month or something like that. Sometimes I talk about the yarn and sometimes I just use the yarn and make a hat and then sit and then give away. So <laughs> we're going to try and change that up just a little bit. Last month I was successful. This month I'm going to try to be successful again. This time I'm going to use a pattern that I was inspired by out of this book it will not be the exact pattern exactly because I'm not going to change hook sizes like it tells me to do or shall I say needle sizes and I'm going to do um, a yarn that's solid rather than the colored yarn that they are using uh, the reason why I want to do this is because number one I got the book and number two I liked the pattern and it helps I think I wanted to spotlight the yarn more than the stitches so we'll see we'll see so what is it so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the picture of the hat because um, yeah okay that didn't work out so well did it <laughs> there's the hat and all it is is a ribbing so that's the reason why I think this will work out in my benefit so what yarn what's the yarn and let's talk about the yarn so we're this month's August 2024 hat is going to be made out of yarn B ethereal eyelash it comes in 180 yards it is very very fuzzy so I like to say it has halo it is called smoked lavender so it's like a gray and a lavender it's very very soft I don't think I've ever felt anything quite this silky well okay maybe I have there are a lot of yarns out there in fact some of them will slide right off your needles so I am not going to be using a metal needle today because I have found that I like this medium smooth needle so I'm going to be using a likey or however you say that word doesn't matter to me 180 yards 75 percent acrylic and 25 percent polyamide I introduced the yarn on the first of the month and now I'm going to use it and do a video of how I liked it it says to use a seven millimeter knitting needle and that's a size 11 well as you know I'm a loose knitter so using a size 10 which is what the pattern it calls for is probably a good idea it also says use a size H 
if a five millimeter, if you're using a crochet hook, do you notice how much different that is between the two sizes? I did. I was quite shocked that they went all the way to an H when this is a bulky five yarn. I don't think I've ever seen a package say an H and a five before. Anyway, it does. So let's see how far I am. So I went ahead and I put on 65 stitches so far. My goal is 72. Now the pattern says the small size of hat is 72 stitches. And then it says the medium size is whatever it is. And then the large size is whatever it is. And I'm like, hmm, I don't know. So I'm not going to do uh, the medium. I'm going to stick to the small size because a lot of my hats are, you know. So, so far I haven't had any trouble. It's very soft. It hasn't come out of the skein um, in any different, like I didn't have yarn barf. Um, I didn't have any knotting yet. But I did notice that it twists kind of funny. Doesn't it? Doesn't uh, not, but it, but it's twisting like, like it's constantly. See, so that I did notice, but so far it hasn't bothered me at, at all. But we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and put 66, 67, 68. 69, 70, 71, and 72. Now this pattern is a ribbing constantly throughout the whole pattern. You don't do a change in your, how many stitches you're using or whatever. You stay at 72 and then till you get to the decrease so you, you you again make sure all your stitches are going in the right direction and I always put my stitch marker on now and then I go ahead and I find the first stitch and I knit with both of those ends the first stitch and it does say knit to purl to so that's when I take and find the end, remove the, that one, find the feed yarn, and knit the second stitch. And then purl two. So we're going to use this alternating knit two, purl two through the whole entire hat. And um, so if you want to do the hat with me, that's great. I am not going to be changing any uh, stitch needle sizes or stitch uh, patterns. I'm just going to be doing the entire hat in knit to purl to and then we'll go down and do the uh, decreases. So at this point I'm going to shorten my tail okay I'm gonna shorten my tail to about seven inches that's good enough and then after I get about five six seven rows done I always weave in my end I always do I don't leave it there um, I just I don't know I just always do so I hope you enjoy these kind of videos where I come back in a couple days, a week, whatever, and show you my process or my progress. See now, if you just did what I just did, I had two knits on there. Now I have two knits on there again. I'm going to go ahead and tink those off. That is how you tink back put your needle in that V stitch and gently bring it back I I have a harder time doing it with the purl stitch but if you do it right away and don't wait 
you can reverse net real fast. That's about all I know how to correct. <laughs> but people always say, well, how do you know where you are? Well, if you're looking at this as a knit stitch, you'll see a V there and you'll see your yarn coming out the back of your work over here. And that last stitch is a knit stitch. If you do a purl, I'm going to do two of them in case it messes me up. And you lay your work down. As you can look at it, it's not a V. And it's coming out the front of your work. So that's a purl. Okay, let's say... I don't know, let's say you twisted it around. You're going to have a lot more problems looking at it. I'm not going to twist mine. But I know that some people will take... A stitch marker and put it in the front and tighten it down so it can't really it, it can't twist I don't know they do different things to make it so that they come back and it's okay but that's a, a couple of tricks that I learned so far if you know any and you want to teach me by all means I want to learn them and uh, so I'll meet you back after I have this hat worked down a little bit. And so far, this is very smooth. And just like I thought it was going to be, it was going to be lots of halo. And you weren't going to be able to see your stitches all that much. So that's why I thought just doing a ribbed hat where the, where the ribbing stays the same through the entire hat might be fun to see what that works up like. So I'll talk to you back when I get a little further. Bye for now. Okay, we're back and now it's time to show you the finished hat for August. I'm hoping that this works out so that each month I can do a beginning and an ending video with a winner drawn in between. <laughs> Or at the end or whatever. So August 2024, Ethereal Eyelash. 180 yards. I made a hat with this that's knitted with a 10 and a half millimeter or 10 US 10 and a half nine is it nine? I don't know nine millimeter. <laughs> These numbers on the knitting needles they still they still confuse me. They probably always will, right? <laughs> Anyway, so let's get to the hat. So the hat was out of a book that um, I purchased at Joann's over the month of July, I believe. And it had a hat in it that was, um, it was ribbed and it was ribbed all the way up. So here is my finished hat and you roll up the brim. So I did it extra long. Um, it does fit me, but I'm sure that someone like my daughter is going to snatch it up and that's going to be hers. She is a hoarder of hats that I make. So it came out really, really kind of cool. I really like this one. Um, and it has lots of halo because ethereal eyelash is a halo yarn, which is making it the softest and squishiest oh my gosh this is just gorgeous right it's like one you would find in a in a boutique I think and again it's just lovely so I put on a white pom-pom uh, it's the kind that has the snap on it where you sew the snap to the hat take the pom-pom off to wash I just think this is just gorgeous, and I want to show it off. <laughs> Did I add on the handmade by Chris um, tag? Yes, I did. I said I probably would add one to this one, so this one is got it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do, um, oh, i just show you real quick. Uh, September yarn choices for the hats, hats and more hats for September.
So what do we have here? We have a uh, Karen Chunky Cake. I uh, said that I was going to use these. They're perfect to make hats. It's what they're intended for. So I am going to use them for September hats. Um, this is the, the pom-pom comes with it. Beautiful pom-pom. This is the colorway that will be given to the winner of September. You will get the one with the crochet pattern on the label. And I'm going to open this one and make my hat out of it. So that'll be for another video and I will include the winners of, uh, or the winner from August in this video. And uh, take a moment out of each day, be creative. Talk to you later. Bye for now. Here we go, August hats, hats and more hats. And we have 21 names, same as last month. I think there was one taken away and one added or something, but either way, it's right around the same people. Um, we're going to go ahead and see who won, wins that ethereal eyelash from Hobby Lobby. It's a yarn bee. Beautiful yarn. I like this uh, wheel a lot because you can change the middle and you can spin it for a while. <laughs> oh, it's just playing tricks on us. Okay, we thought we had one winner and we thought we had a second and now we have Cindy. Congratulations, Cindy. I hope you like this yarn. Alrighty, thank you. See everybody in September's video. Talk to you later. Bye for now.